Chapter 11, Section 5, Conformance Checking. In this section, we give a very brief overview of conformance checking. Conformance checking is concerned with comparing a process model and an event log. The ambition of conformance checking is to identify such parts of sequences that are not in line with the process model and to give an indication how often and to what extent such deviations are observed. This means we need as a starting point both a process model and an event log. Here, in this example, we want to very briefly describe the overall idea. As an example, we use a process for a credit application. The process starts with the event credit application received. The letter A indicates an abbreviation with which we can refer to events that correspond to this event here. Then there is an end split. Activities check credit history and check income services heavily conducted. The letters B and C refer to these two activities. After the end join, there is an XOR join. It is a closing of a loop. That means we continue the process with the activity assess application. The letter D refers to this activity. There is an XOR split to either grant the application or to notify a rejection. The rejection is referred to with letter F. If the application is granted, we make a credit offer. The letter E refers to this activity. If we make the offer, the credit application is processed. The final event is reached and the letter H refers to this. If we notify about a rejection, there is a choice. Either it is an outright rejection or we can request additional information. The letter I refers to this activity. Then we still need to receive these additional pieces of information. An activity referred to with letter G. In this way, we can close the loop and return to a new assessment of the application. Let's have a look at the corresponding event log. The event log is as follows. We observe the following sequences. A, B, C, D, E and H. This is a successful granted application. We have A, C, B, D, E, H, which is also a successful application, with the activities B and C in a different order. There's a sequence A, B, C, D, F, N, G, that is a rejection, as much as A, C, B, D, F, H is also a rejection. We observe that there's also a sequence A, B, D, E, H. It seems C has been missed here. And a sequence A, B, D, F, H, where also C is apparently missing. Conformance checking now provides techniques to identify such situations. The conformance checking technique will pinpoint that activity C has been missed for the two last cases. Conformance checking may also highlight that there is a part in the process model that is apparently never used or never observed in the event log. In this way, conformance checking is of good help to the analyst 
because he or she can compare process models that are used and defined as a norm for the process in relation to the event logs that have been really observed. We can also relate the behavior to the terms that we defined earlier. There is unfitting behavior here. Task C is apparently optional as according if we trust the log. And there's also additional behavior if we take the event, the event log as a starting point. And that's the sequence with the cycle that's never observed in the log. 